Let's break apart decimals now using place value or partition them. If we want to break up 0 0.36, it helps to write our number in a place value table. So we know what that actually represents. It's zero in the units place. Then we've got a three to the right of the decimal point and a six to the next place right in the hundreds place. So when you think about this number, you can write it as a fraction. It's actually got hundreds because that's the last digit in the hundreds place. So that's our denominator. And then we have a look at how many hundreds there are, and there are 36. So what we can do is remember what we did for fractions. If we used a model, there's 36 parts out of 100 shaded, we could think of it as 30 hundreds plus another six hundreds. And the reason we did that was because 30 hundreds could be renamed as three tenths. So then we ended up with 36 hundreds is the same as three tenths plus six hundreds. Now let's have a look in our place value table. There's our 36 hundreds. Let's write it in fraction form. There's our three tenths, and there's a three in the tenths place. There's our six hundreds, and there's a six in the hundreds place. Now we're gonna actually swap these fractions for the decimal form. 36 hundreds is our number, 0 0.36. Three tenths is 0 0.3. So we can actually write that as a decimal. And six hundreds is 0 0.06. We need the zero just before the six because the six is in the hundreds place. So we've partitioned 0 0.36 or 36 hundreds to three tenths and six hundreds using decimals. Now we've got a number expander this time and I've got 1.246. Now this is the same as we do with whole numbers except we're expanding to the right of the decimal point for our decimals and the value of those digits is lower. So let's have a look. If we take our number 1.246 and break it up, I've got another number expander here. We've got one in the units place, two in the tenths place, four in our hundredths place, and six in our thousandths place. So there's our partitions because we can actually write that out. We can write it now as one plus two tenths plus four hundredths plus six thousandths. So you can read each digit and the place it's in and write it in that format. 